Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Around the World with me we heard 37. We are in Manila in the Philippines in that awesome airport and in this episode we're going to be going to Hong Kong and I'm going to go to the old Kai Tak just because I like that airport. I think it's I just think it's a cooler airport than the newer one the new international airport there. Remember the Philippines man that scenery is just killer. So much is so nice, except for like stuff like that, which looks better, you know, meant to see from up high. Really, really like the scenery. Good look. I really love the city, man, how they did that. Love that scenery. Alright, we'll go ahead and get this thing started up, though. Go down here now. Turn on our tank selectors. Get the battery. Get the nav and beacon. Avionics 1. Generator. Fuel boost. Go ahead and hit the starter. Get this up to low idle. Get that parking brake for sure. Sometimes that thing comes on when you hit cold and dark. Uh, sometimes it doesn't, apparently. Put that starter off. Put the fuel boost off as well. Maybe on X2 comes on. And we'll get the prop auto heat and the pedo heat. Yeah, I use this uh, to go cold and dark and everything. And uh, I don't know, sometimes apparently it just does not work. Or, well, sometimes when you do that, the uh, park brake doesn't come on. Usually it does. Anyhow, we're going to hit up the ATC. Tune in ground. Uh, basically, we're going north for the most part. Manila ground, Cessna, ready to taxi. North, departure, West India. Short runway 13. Alright, acknowledge that and that's from the progressive taxi. Which way we go? Roll out to our right. Because that building on the left taxi light comes on. We'll set this altitude, cruising altitude to 11.5. By the way, coming into Kai Tak, we uh, well, basically fly straight there. We don't need to make all the maneuvers and everything. We're a small plane. We're not going to go way out and around, you know, do all that kind of stuff. We might use the checkerboard and, you know, the, the lights, but I don't know. We're not a big 747 or something trying to come in and land. There's that, um... Right, progressive taxi with the arrows going to the sides. So I don't know what that's all about exactly. It was like that last time. I can't remember if we parked over there or somewhere it came in. It didn't really have any general aviation parking here in this big airport. Jason's surprising. Yeah, I turned it. 23 is pretty good, although when we get up in the air, it might be a little worse. I've got it at very dense and dense for the scenery. Over here. So it's actually running pretty good. Although, like I say, when we get up in the air and there's more scenery to see, probably dip down. I was doing a lot less than that, is if I remember correctly, when we came in. All right, it ends here. Where is our runway? Is that a runway right here? Apparently so. Hit up the tower. Now oh, come on now. I mean, this is the runway, right? 
technically we should have stopped over here. I didn't. I wasn't really checking out how far the progressive taxi went, so I didn't. Um, we're bring up ATC. Just there it goes. We got close enough now. Manila Tower, Cessna at runway one three, ready for takeoff. Departure to the north. Cessna cleared for takeoff. Runway one three, north departure approved. All right, acknowledge that. Let's get out of here. Landing lights. Strobe. Get up the flaps. Go ahead and get out of here. There's someone else coming in. Mo well, maybe coming in. I don't know if they're really coming in. All right. Enough. Get out of here. Yeah, no, uh, no planes over there. I don't know why. All right, retract the flaps. Actually, we might have been over here where we parked. I can't remember. All right. I'm actually going to make a right-hand turn instead of left. So you can actually come by that scenery a little more. I love that scenery. You gotta be getting a lot less. Yeah, down to 17. Alright, so they are coming in. Can't see the green air because we're kind of going over the. That's what you're not supposed to be doing. This shouldn't have to go around. I think we're going to be out of the way quick enough. Well, maybe not actually. That, is that the runway they're coming in right there? <laughs> we're about to go over. You can see it's jagged now. Yeah, down to like 15, 18, 16. Kind of what have I what I expected though. Yeah, but we're out of the way of that plane now. The scenery is really, really dense, man. They really packed a lot of stuff in there. Traffic. 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 I hate this traffic. lady, the traffic lady. Traffic. Traffic. They're coming in the land. Traffic. By the way, we didn't get to see traffic. a whole lot of this. Traffic. The, uh, traffic. In the cruise ships and the cargo ships and everything. Traffic. 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 I actually traffic. get to see that person come in and land. Traffic. I don't know. Traffic. 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 Looking for it, just couldn't find it. Now we dipped down and our speed picked up. Yeah, you got the cart, the port area. Korean Air 621, heavy, exit runway when able. All the ships and everything. Contact ground on 121.9. Gonna go uh, normal to just yet. Korean Air 621 Heavy. Trying to get a good look at the port, but then you can see where the scenery just drops off. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. All right, we're going to hit the autopilot. See if we can 
get this better lined up. Sorry, Drake two, three, two, three. All right, the heading vertical speed will go up at a thousand. Uh, we're, now we're going to hit the clouds, now that we're in autopilot. Picture is looking around a round little bit, of course. Nice. Packed a lot into it, I gotta say that. Did they pick a ton of stuff in there? Less of the cargo area. Alright. They can get back in here. As you can see, it's about 688 miles. It's going to take just under five hours. So it's kind of a long trip. Increase the thrust here. Try and get it out of the danger area. Flashing area. Come on, come on back. So it won't take over five hours now that we're getting a little quicker. Yeah, just from take less than four actually. So let's say five seems a little long. We haven't been taking that long. We're actually climbing at 1,100 feet a minute. All right. Sorry, under four. We'll be picking up. We usually fly around 160, 165, not somewhere around there. So it'll take a lot less than that. Going up to 11.5, like I said, that's what we usually do now. And uh, I don't know. I'll uh, be back when we get there. We got nice senior for Kai Tech in uh, Hong Kong. So I'll speed it up and be back in just a little bit.
All right, everybody. Just slowed it down. We're up here at uh, 2,500 feet. Actually, we need to probably get down at least a little bit. I'm not going to come in and land on 31. No, I'm just going to come in, kind of look at the scenery. We'll kind of come in and then uh, cut in front of the runway and go around and come in. Now, uh, come back around and in. Just kind of want to get a good look at the scenery. I really, really like the scenery here. Old Kai Tech. It's a shame it's not there anymore. I guess they turned it into like a cruise terminal. I think they actually have some like condos and stuff uh, built there as well, if I remember correctly. I've seen some pictures a while back. It's kind of sad. It's a really, really cool airport. Go down to like eight. Actually, I'll take it down to like 1700 feet. I don't want to get too low. It's kind of cool because this is Kowloon City that it's in. It's in one of those uh, Call of Duties. So I remember playing that uh, map online, the multiplayer, and run around Kowloon. It was really cool because uh, in the middle of that map, you know, like a 747 comes right overhead. Really pretty cool. It's kind of jagged yeah 16 it's kind of like manila there's so much uh scenery and everything so many big buildings and everything like i say it's uh very dense and dense i don't think anyone should be taken off or landing i'm not really sure of course there's v h h h um which is i can't remember if exactly where that is i think it might actually be right there i think you cross near when you're coming in to for contact I don't think anyone should be taken off here. I don't know what that is exactly. All those 747s. It's kind of crazy. There's a video on YouTube of a uh, Concord landing there, which is, I think there might even be one of it taking off as well. It, it does have a fairly decent, um, really long runway. I guess it was uh, that green light on the other building. I guess it was just a light, but it didn't look like it was way too far, too far up, not really connected to it. I believe that's one of the uh, yeah those flashing lights the path you're supposed to take when you come in. Surprising, I heard pilots actually preferred coming in on uh, 13 rather than coming in on 31, which is kind of crazy. They said, I guess it was. I don't know how it would be easier. I mean, if you're coming in on 31, you just come basically straight in. I said, actually heard that they actually like 13 better. Know why? We're gonna get down a little bit, fifteen hundred feet. And I'm not using the ATC at all. I'm not even sure is there ATC for it? Yeah, I guess could. But I was scared they might say like land on runway thirty one or something. I didn't want to do that. Lane on 13. Plus, we're just taking a little tour around so we can be able to do that. Never noticed the, car the cargo area. Shipping area. Just slow down a little bit. Right, here's the flashing lights, actually. Go ahead and get rid of the autopilot. Y'all damper. I hate the y'all damper. All right, we're a little closer than I thought. But you can see the little flashing lights. All right, we're at full flaps. We need to be lower. Point 
because that was funny. You hear that? And you can see the checkerboard hill. Straight in front of us. I'm gonna get too slow, but we are too high. Just sounds kind of funny, doesn't it? Coming up on the glide slope by now, get down a lot. I don't know if it's windy or what, but I cannot. Feels like we're not coming in straight. I don't know, it was windy uh, when we were approaching the bay area as well. Really jagged. Ended up way to the right. All right, I uh, would like to take that taxiway. All right, and I'm getting pushed around. And on the ground, just want to go way left on me. We got the taxiway right here. We take. Was that Monte Carlo cigarettes? I don't think I've ever heard of that one. Alright, stop right here. Flaps are off. Oops, I wanted that on actually. Lindy like strobe. I'm still not going to use ATC on the ground, uh, so we'll just taxi on over here and just grab one of those spaces. There's 747s all around. I guess some other planes did land here, but whenever you see videos or everything, it's like always a 747. Like I said, there's a, uh, well, I did see an L-1011, the TriStar, uh, in, in the Concorde. I'm sure other planes obviously landed, but it seems like mostly it was 747s. Of course, Cathay Pacific uh, is from Hong Kong. They had a... They're from here. Not really sure where we should go. I think we'll just take a right right here. We'll park beside a, a 747, bro. I've got some flashing right there. Thai Airways. I'm trying to see, is that a. I don't think that is a park. It looks like there's almost a parking space there. And that keep coming on down. Not sure if that's the cargo area over there or what. Can we just like park over here? I'm not sure exactly how you're supposed to come in here. I guess this is from the other way, isn't it? And we'll come over to this one. 
because I got it all backed around. Guess I should have come in from that way. Alright, just park right here. Not the proper way to come in, but who cares? We made it. It's not like this is a real airport anymore, <laughs> anyway. Taxi light is off. Get rid of this yoke so I can get down here. Parking brake is off. Cut the fuel. Fuel heat can come off. Prop auto heat as well. Turn the generator off. Avionics off. Get the battery off. Beacon and nav. These fuel selectors. I don't know why it just shut off again, but oh, oh well. Then you come outside and it's not doing that. Alright. We're in Kai Tak in Hong Kong. More good scenery. It's like Manila. So here we are. I'm not sure exactly where we're going to go next. Uh, we're obviously in China now. Um, so we're going to go up the east coast of China. I know Shanghai is up there. I'm not sure if I want to go all the way to Shanghai. Or if I want to do maybe one stop in between. It's probably about the same distances here, roughly. I don't know ex the exact distance. But I think that's... I don't think I have any... I might have scenery for Shanghai, but... Then I think... I might have it. I don't know. I can't remember. I think I do, actually. Although the the scenery for a lot of the Asian ones, quite honestly, is just not that good. Um, except the old, the other uh, Hong Kong one. The HHH, that's from uh, Taxi to Gate. They did a good one. But the other ones are for, from uh, smaller companies, and they, they're not quite as good. So I'm not sure exactly where we're going to go. But well, we are going to go up through the east coast of China. I probably want to stop over in Japan uh, when we get up there. Um, I have one or two sceneries from up there. One of them I think is actually pretty decent. Uh, then, I, then I think we got to go back to Russia to get uh, back over to the U.S. But uh, anyway, that's going to be it for this episode, everybody. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I will catch you guys on the next flight.